So there he is guys, wild rainbow trout. Beautiful, beautiful colors on this guy. There we are, just got smoked, just got smoked. <laughs> All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Currently just left work, fully dripped out in the black buster uniform right here, as you can see. And we are on the expressway and we are headed northwest to the Great Lakes. We'll be doing some salmon fishing, hopefully tomorrow morning. The plan is to crash on the air mattress back there. I'm gonna get a shower real quick, then we'll be driving straight northwest, literally until I can't drive anymore, until I get too tired. So stay tuned, guys. Epic adventure coming up. Let's get it, let's go. Woo! A few moments later. All right, guys, we are back on the road after a fresh shower. Already all dressed up, ready for the send. It's uh, 1127 right now. I have maybe a, a couple more miles, so I'm fueling up at the Wawa. Then we're gonna drive till we literally are about to fall asleep. So stay tuned, guys. This is gonna be epic. Here's the quarters for the night. Just pulled up to this random convenience store. It's really a remote area. I checked Google Maps while I was driving because I was getting pretty tired. It's 1.30 now. I saw that my exit, I either had to take this exit or I was gonna be driving for another 30 miles through the middle of nowhere. So right now I'm in a really small town, middle of nowhere, 1.30. Hopefully I wake up in the morning and hopefully I don't wake up in the next half an hour being ax murdered, but uh, Definitely a unique experience out here. You don't get this at a hotel. So I'm gonna try my best to get to sleep, set an alarm for sunrise, get back on the road, and uh, hopefully crash somewhere a little bit more stable tomorrow night. So stay tuned guys. See you in the AM. So guys, we survived it into the morning. It is 7.10 right now. I set alarm for 6.30. Actually got a great night's sleep. I'll go over the whole air mattress setup back there, but it was actually pretty comfortable. I think I got probably almost six hours of sleep, which is pretty good. So guys, right now the plan is to locate some water. We are somewhere in the Pocono Mountains. Don't really know where exactly. Don't know if I'm gonna fish here. Maybe if we find a good looking body of water, but I do wanna drive up another 55 minutes to where I wanted to go last night. But there's no way I was going to drive till 2.30 in the morning. It looks like a pretty good trout stream. It's a Class A Pennsylvania trout stream. Apparently, it's some good brown trout fishing. So, I'm going to get on the road. I'm stoked. I'm going to blast some little Uzi, wake me up. And, uh, yeah, we'll just start driving. We'll see where the day takes us. The biggest perk of waking up in the Poconos in my car is literally now I can just drive at 7 o'clock. Opposed to waking up super early and being super tired. So, let's get on the road. We didn't get axe murdered last night. So, that's always a big plus. I literally had no idea where I was last night. I drove around in circles for literally 45 minutes before I found somewhere to, to, to pull over on the side. But we made it. So let's get back behind the wheel. Let's go on the drive. And uh, yeah, hopefully find some fish. Stay tuned. It's going to be a day. guys to pull up on the side of the road over here somewhere in the Appalachian Mountains of Pennsylvania I literally have zero idea where I am literally just dropped this pin on Google Maps down there about about a couple hundred feet is a class a Pennsylvania trout stream so I'm feeling pretty optimistic because there really is nothing out here that is straight woods drop off and I'm on a one-lane road pulled off on the side, drove over a bunch of sticks and stuff. So yeah, we are roughing it out here now, guys. I'm gonna eat my Nature Valley, just get something in my stomach before we head down there, make the trek and throw on the waterproof socks. Gonna be doing some wet waiting today, not gonna be throwing on the waders. Uh, air temp is 60 degrees. 
So it's actually pretty comfortable, not too bad. And we're supposed to get some rain in this area later, so I'll probably fish till it starts to rain, maybe a little bit in the rain. Then I'll be on my way out of here, guys. And uh, yeah, let's just get down there, start fishing after our little breakfast, of course. All right, guys, we're geared to the teeth. GoPro is on. We are strapped up with the trout fishing essentials. Got the ultralight right here, little Panther Martin tied on. And we have a hefty, hefty walk down here. So the river's down there somewhere. I can hear it. I can almost see it. So let's just start trekking down there. Probably gonna be a pretty slippery slope with these wet leaves, but it's all for the sand, baby. There's definitely a ton of freaking trash down here. Well, I guess this place is more civilized than I thought. Just found a freaking well, it looks like a road pretty much right here. I don't think it's a, a road for cars, but, and here is the river. Looks pretty juicy, I'm not gonna lie. I just gotta find some way to access that down there. All right. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we made it. That's an epic pool right there, too. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to cross here, though, so we're about to get pretty wet. All right, we survived the sand. Now let's catch some fish. I'm gonna fish this pool. I'm gonna start my way upstream. This looks way too good to pass up. All right, let's keep moving. All right guys, this is the one right here. Mega waterfall, big deep pool. This is gonna be good. I can feel it right now. There we are, we're on, we're on. What did I say guys? Oh, it's a smallie. It's a smallie, dude. It's a baby smolly. <laughs> Check that out. First catch of the day. Epic, dude. First fish of the trip. Small little half pound smallmouth bass. There we go, guys. Saw that little pool right there. Knew there was gonna be a fish in there. Thought it'd be a trout, but there we go. Little dink smolly. All right, let's send him back. See you, bud. I knew looking at that hole over here, there was gonna be something in there. Thought it would be a trout, hopefully a brown, but first fish of the day is a smallmouth. Not going to complain with that. Guy fought awesome, so let's make another cast and see what we can pull out. There we are guys, first trout of the trip. Little rainbow trout, did not know this place was stocked. This is definitely a stocky. I really doubt it's a wild rainbow, but hands are wet. There we go, it's kicking off strong. All right, see you dude. So I just walked up to this pool right here. Knew it was good, did not expect to catch rainbow trout in here. So I might be in a stocked area. I know this definitely, this is a class A wild trout stream. So there are big wild browns in here. I did read up a little bit. I did a little research last night. So uh, 
yeah, I guess we'll make a couple more casts and see what else we can catch. Smallmouth bass, stocked rainbow trout so far. Now just looking for that big old brownie. There we are, just got smoked, just got smoked. Oh, dude, that's a micro rainbow. That's a wild rainbow all day, dude. That is a wild rainbow trout all day. All right, guys, definitely just caught a wild rainbow trout right here, wet in my hands. I wanna take good care of this guy. That is a wild rainbow trout right there, guys. The conditions of the fins, especially the tail and the colors on this guy and the size totally make me think this is a wild trout. So there he is guys, wild rainbow trout, beautiful, beautiful colors on this guy. And let's send him back for another day. There he goes. Absolutely stoked to catch that fish guys. This is a class A wild trout stream. The research that I did last night and yesterday said there were a lot of wild brown trout in here. I haven't seen a single one so far, just the wild rainbow trout. So get back to cast and hopefully land a brown, but that's my First ever PA wild rainbow trout. Super sick. Let's get back to casting. And I caught that guy on this little rooster tail right here. Perfect. I wish I would have picked up more of these. Perfect size for this stream. Great color scheme too. Looks just like a little bug, little insect. So let's hope you can pick up a few more out of this tiny stream. We're on, we're on. That's a good, better fish, feels like. Feels like a better fish all day. Oh, that's a much better fish, dude. Much better fish. Another rainbow, though. Huh. How weird is that? There we are, guys. Yeah, another rainbow trout right there. Let this guy go real quick. Nice quick release on him. There he goes. All right, bud. So, rainbow trout number three for the day. Still no browns. That guy looked a little bit more like a stocky. I wasn't freaking out as much, but I don't know if that was a wild rainbow trout we caught earlier. That one we just we just caught definitely could have been. So we could also have a mix of stock trout and wild trout in here. But uh, yeah, this pool is doing pretty good so far. That is two rainbow trout, almost back to back casts. We'll keep on fishing, keep pushing up this river. That's a fish, all day, all day, all day, all day. Let's go, whoa, oh, big bow. Not a monster, another potentially wild fish, dude. I tried to pick that guy up for you. That was definitely potentially another wild trout. Another wild rainbow trout out of this little pool. But uh, yeah, fortunately they're pretty slippery. I'm keeping my hands wet so that I don't mess up their slime coat. And uh, that guy slipped away, but that was the biggest one so far. <laughs> oh my God, that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> don't rely on this tree for support. Jesus.
We're on. We're on. <laughs> Fish on. Feels like a micro. Micro something. Oh, it's a rainbow. Another little rainbow, dude. Heavy. Heavy rainbow claim. There you are. What's up, bud? What's up, dude? There we go. There we are. Another little rainbow. Could be a stocky. Possibly. Could it be wild? Possibly. I'm kind of done guessing over here, but there we are. Little rainbow trout. Quick knee hook. And there he goes. We're going to move up a little bit more, fish this little waterfall right up ahead, and then we're going to get on the bridge and get on out of here. Well, folks, that is going to be a wrap for this chronicle of exploring the unknown, getting out there and fishing. Literally today, just pulled over on the shoulder of this really isolated road. I hadn't seen a single car there for the half an hour I sat in my car and ate breakfast and packed up. Just, I'm two and a half hours away from home. Short little pit stop on the way to Syracuse to the Great Lakes. I did not expect to catch any rainbow trout today. And I actually ended up catching potentially my first ever wild PA trout. Here's a little visitor. Any words to say, bud? Anything to say at all? Well, that guy's got the right idea, headed home just like me. I'm headed to the car. Then we have another two and a half hour drive up north, but that should be enough for this one video right here. Don't want to bore you guys too long. Never know what the send has in store. Little rooster tail, little panther marin, and we crushed the trout today. So the trip is off to a good start, guys. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next one. I've got a 20 minute walk back to my car. Never on the sand, baby.